Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So I recently got a distillation set and a hot plate, and so I thought, for starters, we might try the purification of water by the distillation of some salt water. First of all, what we've got here is a solution of sodium chloride that we'll distill the water off, and to stop it from violently boiling during the distillation, we get some of these glass shard boiling chips. This was a graduated cylinder that came in the mail, and obviously got thrown around a bit, because when I got it, it was broken. Anyway, we get all of these. Stick that in. There we are, got all those in. Probably see them in the bottom there. They should create, all the sharp points should create nucleation sites for the boiling to happen and stop any massive bubbles from rising up and maybe going straight over the edge. In order to connect up the LMI flask to the distillation setup, because it doesn't actually have an attachment that attaches onto these pieces, I've just, you can see, I've duct taped it on. So originally, the distillation set came with this. 500 mil round bottom flask, but currently I don't really have a way to put it in a sand bath or an oil bath, so I'm just using an LMI flask because I can get a lot more surface area touching the hot plate. What you can see here is I've connected up the condenser tube to this diaphragm pump and a large reservoir of water. It's a 24 volt pump, so I've got a 12 volt lead acid battery down here connected up to the 12 volt pin of the computer power supply that I made a while ago. So I'll connect that up and I'll show you it running. And you can see that we get a nice bit of water flow through that that should help the water to condense along the tube. A few air bubbles that the pump gives it, but that should be alright. So what we'll do now is connect up the rest of the setup, just like this. I've got a little bit of uh, Teflon tape around each of the joints to stop the glass from sticking when I heat it up. Seems to work really well, because I don't really need a really tight seal, or an airtight seal at least. So we'll connect this up, and then hopefully this should fit on nicely. Now we'll just adjust the angle of this down here, so that the Allen Meyer flask sits on the hot plate nicely. And there we are, perfect, ready to go. So I'll put the last little stopper piece in, grab the thermometer, put that in as well. There we are, that should tell us the temperature. When it reaches 100 degrees, then we'll see stuff boiling over. Just quickly, we'll test the uh, pump again. And there we go, perfect. So we'll turn the hot plate on. I know that setting it to four seems to boil water pretty well, so there we are. We'll leave that going for a little while. Watch it heat up on the thermometer. Then hopefully, pretty soon, we'll get some water distilling over through the condensing column. So I lowered the thermometer down into the water, as you can see. And it's reading already after just a couple of minutes, nearly 80 degrees, and that's steadily rising. You can see the water's almost boiling down the bottom. All the glass pieces are moving around. So pretty soon we should start to see stuff boil over. So it's just started boiling quite furiously now, and you can see it's condensing really quite quickly down along the condensing column. You can almost see the vapors travel all the way down there. I think we might turn the pump on. And there we go. All that water should start condensing down here. Hopefully we'll get a drop into the round bottom flask soon. Oh, there we are. Over it comes. Perfect 100 degrees.
in order to save charge on the battery I might turn the pump on periodically to just cool this down every now and again because I don't really want that battery to run out just yet to help the water boil over right over to this condensing column I've put some aluminium foil around here that should insulate it stop any water from condensing just straight up this tube you can see the boiling's kind of slowed down and it's a bit more violent I really need to get some better boiling chips I guess after around uh, 20 minutes we've already got around about 25 milliliters water in there this should be done pretty quickly it's been about half an hour now we've gone through pretty much exactly 50 milliliters so it's a little after an hour later I've turned the hot plate off you can see over that hour we've condensed around about 100 milliliters of water I've stopped the distillation here because I don't really want to distill to dryness and it's getting pretty dark now so I'd like to pack it up and not have to stand out here anymore. So there you go, about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Catch you next time.